Hey guys, what's going on? So, I just went on to do a live. I wasn't really feeling it though, you know? I've got a lot of stuff going on here at the home front. It's my birthday, I was kind of going with it, feeling good, you know what I mean? And then you always got those people trying to knock you down, right? Just don't understand. Alright, so this is my message, and I came back on here because I need to get this message out. Okay, it's important. So, these karmics, okay? What I'm getting is these are the people that are part of this cult, coven, whatever. They cloak their self in a religion. I'm hearing like a Catholic religion, okay? They're going to this place in Colombia. And the place that they're going, there, there is something big about the Roman church, okay? And there is a mixture of Africans, which I have, I have a lot of these in my bloodline, so I'm not speaking illy of anything, anybody or anything, okay? But, it says here, um, Europeans, Africans, um, Spanish, Portuguese, but it says here that one of the main points of entry was African slaves in the 17th century, right? And the seat of one Spanish crown, America's Europeans, there was 90% the Europeans, 10% Spanish and Portuguese. Most were slave traders and suspected of practicing Judaism. Um, it says also, indigenous people were also there. And it says that this was like in the 1600s to 17. 33 cases of sorcery were registered in the inquisition of this port. And then it says, because um, I was looking the research up, and it says sex and race in America and this city in Spain, for example, were the main reason for somebody to be accused of acts of witchcraft or a lesser serious charge of sorcery, okay? So, this place is somewhere that they go to do, like, work um, using, like, Saint Teria, Voodoo, um, you know, there's always good and bad, right? So there is a lot of, there is good things I've done, right? But right now, the main... The main message is, is this is what these people are doing. They're going on a trip because they can't take you down collective. So now they're going and they're going to get more people involved. Okay. And because this city in this in Columbia has also something to do with the Roman church, it's a big, it's a big cover up cloak for them. Okay. Also, what came up in my research is St. Teria voodoo has been used for a long time on sex on sex slaves on sex trades on um sex trafficking and we know that somehow these people have something to do with the dark net and um they're using stuff like that to do their work and because they cannot cipher your energy anymore and they're lacking the energy to keep covering everything up they're going now to do this basically is what i'm getting it's like win at all costs right so let's get let's see what the message is here and i apologize if anyone was going to tap in or did tap in i was i wanted to do like my live as my like my birthday party kind of thing because you guys are all i got right now you know, like for real, for real. All right. To my father, mother, ancestor, spirit, guides of the most high, please surround us and fold us and protect us with your light. Anyone sending any evil eye, 
negative energy spell work towards us please send it back with full forgiveness thank you amen archangel michael will you please protect me at this time spirit what do i have to uh pull on let me know at this time please use me as your vessel Okay. They want, it says prosperity, but it was upside down. Okay. So they want you to be in the mindset of, of like feeling like poverty, right? Like you don't have anything. Um, like they've already taken everything from you, but they want to, they just want you in that mindset because you're manifesting like a powerhouse, right? And you have to keep sending out all that negative energy and pulling your energy back right so that's one thing that they're that they're trying to do so you may have been feeling this a little bit but this is just their energy their spell work okay change because there's a change coming all right These people are just too much, man. Darkness. Yeah. They're dark, very dark. They want you to feel like you don't have anything and you have to go to them. And they tell people this. They, they lie and gossip and say that, um, you're always arguing with them you're you're you know what i mean like you're just you all you are about is gossip and starting um what is that word um like starting problems um things like that but there's another word for it it will come to me but um This isn't even, this isn't even who you are. You're out there trying to help the community. And these people are taking, at first they were taking your videos and they were remixing them, right? If you are on a platform or have a social media, right? Anything, even they, they hacked your phone. So they could have um, gotten something off your phone, right? These people are a type of people who have, and I'm hearing they've done this they will mix things around turn it around and put things that aren't there there was even a video made of something when you thought that you were by yourself and they did something with that video to to try to pull you down but you don't even care you are just you are following the divine and you're in the moment is what i'm hearing I can almost hear them talking right now. Yeah, darkness. This is this is them. So 5, 18, or 34 may mean something to you. Maybe you're also ages of you or someone in your family. Protection. Yeah, you're protected. You have a lot of protection around you. All right, spirit. Horus, stability. Yeah, you're stable right now, but you are about to be more stable this isn't touching you this is backfiring on these people union and power so you're about to unite with your power 
not that you're not in it right now, but you have more power there. If you haven't been in meditation mode, they're telling you to go into meditation. Understanding, you're very understanding. And when you go into meditation, you're gonna understand more of what's going on. You're going through a death and a rebirth right now. Being ordinary. So these people probably try to say that you're just, you know what I mean? You don't have these abilities. You don't have these powers, but you keep coming out with truths and they don't know what to say or what to do about it. And what I'm getting also from this card is like, you are one that can fit in no matter where you go. Even though you don't always feel ordinary, right? You feel like sometimes you are, you feel like you're the one that sticks out, right? Wholeness. So you're very knowledgeable. You have a lot of knowledge is what I'm hearing. Truth and fairness. You are about the truth. And you're very fair to other people and you just want this in return like this is just what you want this is what you maybe this is even something you manifested like just for this stuff to stop this whole smear campaign the, the bullshit right hermitage so you might be in like hermit mode um trying to stay away from all the chaos order and peace yeah you justice understanding truth you just want to stop the chaos I just keep hearing you just want this to stop and it's like even when you try to be in hermit mode these people just they don't quit. Righteousness. Intelligence. So you're very intelligent. You're going through a renewal. Like I said, a death and a rebirth. hope you have a lot of hope for your future and they they keep trying to take this hope from you this it's like you it's like what else can you take from me resentment here's that resentment card yeah cuz they're holding resentment against you if you're holding any resentment you need to let that go cuz it's not going to help you move forward okay um and if you can't forgive them, forgive yourself for being in that situation, okay? But don't hold resentment. But they're, they are the ones holding resentment against you for what they have done to you. Exploration. Spirit is telling you to go out and explore. That even if it's not outside, which is what they really want us to do, Get books, get knowledge from books, go to the library, um, watch videos about your ancestors, okay, about 
Um, I'm hearing about Egyptian ancestors, because you might have Egyptian bloodline. Also, um, Indian. I know I have some Cherokee in my blood, so I don't know if that's what they're saying, but um, I was being pulled to this card right here where there's a lot of, there's the Indian feathers. Yeah, you're going through a healing right now because of this devastation, because of this stuff that they did. They unalive somebody in your family, and maybe in your past life they did this to you. And this is what they're trying to cover up, is what I'm hearing. They are trying to. This is what they're doing. They're trying to go on this trip to cover up what they've done. My right ear is uh, ringing. There may be three people going on this trip or more, but I'm catching three people. See all the three people are up there, but there might be a fourth. There's definitely three. And you have a lot of passion for whatever you do, for helping other people, for giving back. It makes you feel complete. And you will soon feel completeness. Faith and wisdom. You have a lot of faith and wisdom within. And this is what's bringing you justice. All right, let's see. What else is here? During my live, I pulled the cards and I pulled the, uh, the voodoo one came out again. I wouldn't be shocked if it came out again during, during this read right now. I know I should have my cards ready. I didn't expect to come right back on, but I really needed to get this message out because spirit has been is pushing me to get this message out. If you guys see this before I go on, I might be going on a live with my uh, my friend over on Gatekeeper. So you might want to check that out. I might be over there on there. Um, let's see. All right, Spirit. What do I? What do we need to know? Glamour, drama, integrity. You have a lot of integrity. Intern. That's not what that says though, but. This person wants your beauty. And they're very dramatic. And they're making it seem like you are the drama queen. You are the one causing all the drama. Okay? Divine masculine, divine feminine, whoever, okay? Whichever you are, collective. Um, these people are, are doing the, the most right now. And... Which, which at the end of the world, an important end for a new beginning. Okay, so this is like the end for them. Them doing this is going way too far. What they're about to do. They haven't left yet. They're about to go though. They're going on this trip. It's a planned trip. Okay. Time for change to learn something new, to use technology and gadgets with wisdom. Okay, so like I just said, the last card said that you need to explore, okay? And this is telling you to change whatever it is that you are looking at, looking into, so that you can um, learn more things, you know, unlock more gifts inside that you have, and also get the knowledge that you need about your bloodline, where you come from, stuff like that. You might be investigating things right now, trying to figure things out. 
this might help you. End for a new beginning. Change. Yeah, I keep getting that. Ending and new beginnings. So there's going to be an ending to something. Also, you might be getting a new gift and might be losing one. Sometimes you gain more gifts and sometimes you also will lose gifts if they're not serving you, right? If they're not, if it's something that's not really helping you, then usually spirit will just take it. Like, you know, because it's not, you're not, it's not helping you, okay? But you're going to get something in return that's going to be a lot better. That's something that you can use. Ghost of the past. The past returns for a time. Yeah, so your spirit, your spirit guides can be passed on loved ones, is what I'm hearing. And um, somebody close to you may have passed. It might not even be recently, but it feels like it. And things that had happened to them are returning right now. There, there may be a visit too, is what I'm getting. You might get a visit in a dream. You might get a visit um, between now and December, maybe around Christmas time. My right ear is ringing, so, and I'm also hearing something about Halloween, but it may be uh, around Christmas time. Goes to the past, so yeah, your spirit wants, and also I got that meditation card, so, and they want you to to use your gadgets and books and stuff like that so there's there's something that you're going to find out there's something that's coming out some more truth that maybe you didn't know about and i i read on this yesterday that the hidden secrets are coming out and with this new moon there's a lot of truth that you're finding out and you're finding out people that are in your family or in your in your circle are involved more than you know their hands are very dirty in the situation and they spoke so illy over you and these are people that you have vouched for these are people that you love right you had love for that you would go to the end for them right and they just they they treated you they, not, they didn't treat you the same they may have acted like they did but now you're finding out that they didn't care and these are the people that are behind the scenes gossiping, spying and gossiping, and some of these people are even going on this trip. Alright, Spirit, anything else out of these cards? Seeing if I get anything else. But I'm also getting something about Halloween that might might be significant. Because they wanted they wanted to get you um they wanted to sacrifice you collective for Halloween and um, because I think it's, it's in a day of the dead and um, because they couldn't get you every time they they tried to come up with a plan you keep finding out what the plan is um, you might watch tarot or you might have gotten a reading something significant with that but you might have found the truth out this way okay also you may have found some um maybe paperwork or messages you might have gone through something from the past of yours gadgets or anything of that sort and found something that you didn't realize was there that you know all right please don't lose hope so spirit is saying don't lose hope also be careful of what you eat right now because these people are trying to poison you they did this in a past life this may have been something that made you go through your spiritual awakening you may know this or may not know this but this is something that helped wake you up lady with a I can't read that something a botch egg Ancient wisdom. Yeah, see you have ancient ancestors Like they don't realize that these things that they're conquering up these demons and deities they work with you Your ancestors are so ancient like even the Egyptians They don't realize this I 
I'm also hearing that they're going to elders, they're going to people with knowledge, and these people are like, no, that's why they have to travel so far to, to do this work right now, because no one, everyone is starting to do their work on you, because some of them are wondering why these people keep coming to them or have come to them, you know what I mean? And they're supposed to, if you're a high priest or a priest, um, you're supposed to do your work, right? Before you do any readings, before you do anything like that. You're supposed to make sure that the situation is right. Because if that backfires on you, it's not good. It's not good at all. A wonderful idea, the aha moment. Yeah, so you might be getting or have gotten this, this something. Um, like a an idea. Write it down, okay? Whatever it is, write it down. Because a lot of times we forget things because there's so much going on. They're trying to cause so much chaos around us that we might forget. Here's that uh, time, a time for spirit. So yeah, spirit is telling you to go within for healing, and um, not not only for healing. And this is all low healing, so that's why I probably got that Allah healing because there's some messages. ghost people faceless ghost and the haunted girl so you're pulling the mask off these people and you see them for who they are and spirit talks to you spirits talk to you you hear them and it might make you feel kind of like okay what's going on did i hear that or you might not tell people about this knowledge that you have but what i'm hearing is you have a divine you have a connection to the divine and you also can channel passed on people, passed on loved ones. I don't know if you know this, but you have the power within. If you haven't unlocked it yet, you can still. But you have this ability to talk to them. You may not realize that you have already talked to them is what I'm hearing. Yeah, calm, you, calm from the chaos. You need, you need to um, meditate on this situation. A tempting offer has a high price so be careful you're gonna have somebody's gonna come to you when I'm hearing it's gonna be an ex somebody from your past make sure that um, you remember what they even if it's not a lover if it's a family member whatever it is just remember whatever this is even if it seems tempting do not take it I mean, it's up to you, right? Invasion, boundaries, violated, dominance. So these people try to dominate you. And what they do is they, they have been over walking their boundaries with you. You put boundaries up and they just don't even care. They don't even acknowledge it. They have had people take pictures of you, video recorded you, um, smeared your name, talked about you. They've taken so much from you, so much. And now they're going at all, they're doing everything at all costs. No, they don't even care. You've already caught on to the betrayal, but they think that they can just keep covering it up and that's okay. Cause you may not be, cause the divine told you to just let it go. Don't speak on it, let it go. I mean like, yeah, speak on it, but not to them, right? He's saying, let him do that part of it, but he will deal with the rest, right? Or he'll deal with that part. Now, that doesn't mean that you're not supposed, you can't go talk about it on your platform or your blog, or if you have a social media or um, even write it down or just even talk to somebody like a counselor or a therapist or whatever, right? Or, or just a trusting friend, okay? Um, that's not what that's saying. It's just saying to, there's no, there's nothing you could say to these people. When it comes to that, it's like they'll they'll keep making you think that you're wrong, that you don't know what you're talking about, and making you look like you're crazy. And they might even try to baker act you, is what I'm hearing. They may have done this in the past, but um, that just came up. So they may be trying to baker act you. Um, 
saying you're not stable, that something's wrong with you, that you don't know what you're talking about. Um, something, something of the sort. And that's why another reason they've been smearing your name. And maybe you have tried to talk to these people and they, they just, they, they don't acknowledge you or they tell you they, you don't know what you're talking about. You might even have receipts and proof, but they still shrug it off like it's nothing. They may even try to cover some of this stuff up because there's a digital footprint, but they can't cover that part up. Even if they've erased any kind of messages or anything that you do have, they can't cover that up. Healing from heartbreak, from heartache. You might be healing from a past deceit or um, I'm hearing it, someone that passed. You might still have a little bit of heartbreak over this and it might be coming to surface sometimes. Something that these people had done to somebody from your past that had passed away. And you, you solved this. You know what happened. And the puzzle pieces are coming together. And when you think about this person, it might hurt. And also these people are upset because you rejected them. Yeah, these people are stiffed, bored, and stuck. Love is strange. So yeah, this passed on person is going to come back to you. It might be a um, passed on... I mean, it might be passed on. It might be a... Um, family member or it might be a past person that you were with and that temp the offer might be tempting just remember remember what they put you through because that's how they really feel about you okay that's how they feel remember everything that they did to you don't forget about that because when they come around they might look better cloak themselves with all this stuff right or it might be the opposite and they might make you feel bad for them right don't do it Especially if this has to do with even a child. Because they know that you're coming so close to ending all this chaos. And they don't want to go down. Alright, let's see what's going on here. This may be um, your past life. Or um, something from your past. Okay, this also might be... I always say past, present, future, okay? These are past life cards, but I've also come across stuff when I've done my own readings that have been actually right on the moment or something that had was, it, you know, was going to happen because it happened right after. So, but this says animal attack. So you may have been attacked by an animal in your past or past life. Earth disaster. Yeah, that was what was coming up for Earth disaster. You're a good Samaritan. Air Force. You or someone you know was in the Air Force who abused you in your past life or in your past? Military, Navy, Marines, anything of that sort but a military person may abuse you since you were a child. Childhood trauma. Unexplained disappearance. So you... You may have been kidnapped when you were a child. This also says lost of a loved one. Um, so there may have been somebody that, that you know from your past that... Um, you had love for that just there was an unexplained disappearance this person disappeared they were murdered or they may have tried to murder you in your past life but with poison and it's funny the poison card comes out again because I just got them telling you and it says message messenger after this because you're getting a message about this. Be careful of what you eat right now and what you drink. Make sure you make it yourself and if it's already made and you put leftovers in the fridge, don't eat the leftovers, okay? Messenger. 
communication. You're going to be getting a message or have got a message from a messenger, maybe a reader. Leader that is some sort of leader, leadership, or that you are a leader or supposed to be a leader. I got this yesterday, infection, health issues. They tried to do this to you in your past, or they may be trying to do this with this poison right now and infect you so that you can't stand against them in this court case, so that they end up being right and can take what is left of whatever was left by you by your past on loved ones. They left you something. Corruption. Fall of civilization. Corruption. Yeah, they paid these people. They paid, they paid these people that are in the justice system, the cops, FBI, CIA, they paid a lot of these people to come against you. Even family, friends, societies. And there's a lot of corruption to do with this with this court that's going on right now. And you don't even know that this court case is going on. It's all going on behind your back because they have it hidden from you. You may have even asked about this and they told you you don't know what you're talking about. Explosion. Fire disaster. They may This may have happened in a past life if it hasn't happened yet. Or already. I mean, this might have been a past life. Explosion something to do with an explosion torture torture yeah this is what these people do to you did to you in your past and they still are doing this to you physically mentally emotionally teenage years current lifetime teenage years yeah Your teenage years, these people tortured you. Marriott Timer, pirate. So you might like to go out on the boat to go sailing. You might like to be on the water. Something may have happened in the water, but um, or you might have been a pirate in your past life. Athlete, duelist, like gladiator, athlete, part of the Gladiator Federation. I call them gladiators. Gambling or speculation, wealth. So these people are gamblers. And they may say that you are. And speculation, like they suspect that you are. But it's not you. These people are gambling. These people, they're, they're trying to say this is how this wealth came about, about, about. But no, they took this wealth from you. And they're gambling. They gambled your life. They gambled with this money. Allied invader. World war. A bomb. Air disaster something about this with your past life money handler industry this person that might have been involved in your past was a money handler this handler that was involved in your past it might have been in your, your past relationship they were a handler they were paid to do this. And the person that is involved is somebody who is supposed to handle the money. This came up on this side before I, it even turned and it said father, identity, father. And then when I turned it around, it said domestic. So your father might have been very abusive, oppression, very abusive with you. Could have been a stepfather, an uncle, even a father figure, somebody that was like a father to you. Obsession, love, this person is obsessed with you. I 
I'm getting father and also LGBT love. So this also might be somebody, um, or even a past life, or somebody like from the same as a, of the same sex that is obsessed with you. A lot of jealousy. Nature worship. Oh my gosh, I can't even make this up. Pre-Columbian Americans time frame. And I just got done saying that these people are going to Columbia. So you have, you have uh, either Portuguese or uh, indigent ancestors um, that are in your bloodline. And, I, and you also have Egyptian and Indian. Pathlesium? Pan, or Panthlesium? Pantheism? I can't even say that word. But it says nature worship. So you might like to go outside. You might like to, or you need to. Also, I'm getting butterflies. Butterflies are your spirit guides. Or not your spirit guides, but passed on loved ones. Spirit guides are usually more like uh, the eagles or... Um, bigger animals. Um, what's the other one? Uh, oh, um, owls, stuff like that. But yeah, something about seeing a butterfly. All right, anything else, spirit? You drowned in some kind of in something in your past life? Water disaster? And it was supposed to, it was kind of a lesson. So these people that are involved right now in this, what's going on, the secret society, they're part of the Freemasons. That did this to you. They may, they may want to come also and do this to you. This is something that they probably had planned to do and say that you just drowned, lost at sea, take you on a trip on a boat. And like I said, it could happen in a past life. Cause look at this. We got the pirate, right? All right. Let's see. Yeah, partnership attraction. You're attracting people right now. And in relationships, soul family, stuff like that. Somebody's going to come to you and maybe want to want to offer you a job with them. Also, this person might have some kind of love for you. Don't forget, though, you also have somebody that's not. That's not about this. That That's not good, okay? Queen of Cups. Emotionally secure, calm, intuitive, compassionate. This may be a cancer, or you may be a cancer. But we don't have, to, you know, or not. We don't have to go with the signs. Wow, heavy on cancer. So this may be a cancer that might be coming to you, trying to ask you. This might be the second person trying to come to you and ask you if you want to go into some kind of partnership with them. Something about your creativity and about community. Okay. And um, you're going to celebrate your good luck is on your side if, if the wheel is in your favor. I got um, Cancer and Gemini, the lovers. 
This might be your soulmate. The lovers. Love, union, relationships, value, alignment, choices. And then we got um, Libra and Scorpio, Knight of Cups. Romance, charm, knight in shining armor, imagination. So yeah, this person wants to come to you with this cup. Got a lot of cups here. But just be careful because don't forget, um, you may have been poisoned in your past life. So be careful what kind of cups that you get offered. You know what I'm saying? In 3D. <laughs> Yeah, these people are collaborating about going to, on this trip. What I say? And not only that, these people are part of this cult. And you might feel like the wounded soldier right now. This person who thinks that he is a, a leader, King of Wands. And this might also involve a Taurus. But you have visions of all this. You have a lot of profit coming to you in reward from all your past, all your investments that you have done, all your time, and that's the truth. All right, let's do a quick uh, affirmation. I am my own best friend. Friend. Other people are troll dicks. <laughs> Meet up with a friend and have a good bitch. Make a good bitch at the time, right? Fuck yes I can. My future is a golden sparkly explosion of fucking awesomeness. Not loving myself is total bullshit. Get up, show up, and show the world you're a fucking legend. Alright, collective. I was on here a while, but I needed to get that message out. So peace, love, and light. I will see you guys later.